Yo, what is going on guys? It is Prezi today, and today is a different type of video. Today is going to be a video on how I make my own videos. And in the past, a lot of you guys wanted to know what equipment I use, you know, what software I download to make my videos, and how to make my thumbnails. I did make a video on how to use thumbnails, how to make them for free, but this is like how I make my videos, how I stream, and all that good stuff in between. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys all the software. How I stream, uh, how I make my videos, how I, you know, record them, and how to, like, put them inside the, the clips to make them, you know, fit. And how I put my clips in the actual software and edit them and add music. So, without further ado, guys, hope these tips help you guys out to know what software to buy. So, without further ado, guys, if these tips help you guys out in any way, please leave a like. I appreciate it, guys. So, I know you guys want to make some videos and how to make them well. Update your quality. So, without further ado, guys, no more time to waste. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so now we're on the camera, and so pretty much I use a basic setup, nothing too spectacular, but first is first, I do use a Elgato HD60 to capture my gameplay. Next is my Blue Snowball mic, I use this to you know, record commentaries over gameplays and when I stream. Right here is my monitor that I'm using to record right now, you can see me right here. Say what's up. And also my webcam, my C920 Logitech webcam. And then, of course, my computer, my PC, that I use it for everything. So yeah, guys, that's my basic setup to make my videos. There's nothing too spectacular, like I said, but it does get the job done. I'll put all the links to all my uh, equipment down in the description for this video, so you guys can check them out as well. But right now, we're going to get into like the actual software on my computer that I use. So here we go. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is how I make my thumbnails. I already made a video on this, but this is the first thing I use. I use a website called Panzoid. I used this a while ago. This is what I use for thumbnails, it's pretty easy to make, you know, you just go to the YouTube thumbnail section, and you know, add your text, add your images, it's pretty simple, you download your background down here, but this right here, guys, is Photoshop, and this is what I use now, obviously this is like the best software to use to make thumbnails, so I bought this, this is the one I use now, I make a lot of thumbnails down on this, you can see some of them I made already, you know, they look pretty good, I mean, before, I thought they looked good on Panzoid, but if Photoshop, but obviously if Photoshop, this is the, you know, the software to use to make the best thumbnails, and the ones that always look the best, so, you can obviously tell the difference between, you know, a thumbnail of Photoshop compared to one with Panzoid. For instance, this is what I used on Photoshop the other day to make a video yesterday, my music video skit. If you haven't seen this one, check it out. I made that one off of Photoshop. And then I'll show you one compared to one I use with Panzoid. So I mean, they're both they're both cool sites and softwares, but obviously this one is a lot better than any other one. This is one you know people try to get for free, people try to you know get cheap. So yeah. So I mean, this looks good in my opinion, but you can obviously see a big difference in a Photoshop made thumbnail to a Panzoid made thumbnail. And Panzoid's still good. I think it's the best free software to make thumbnails, but. This one is obviously the best, you have so many options to do, so many different blending options, I mean, it's only a, a $9.99 subscription a month, so it's not that expensive guys, so if you're going to get this, it's, pre it's pretty cool, it's a lot of good stuff you can use, it does take a while to, you know, master, I mean, I, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos, I went through classes at school, how to make Photoshop work for me, and how to be good at Photoshop, so it does take a while to master, but it's very very beneficial for you guys it's very very beneficial to you guys to attract viewers and to like see your thumbnails say hey that's a cool thumbnail why don't I watch that get more views get subscribers and likes so so making a good thumbnail is almost like half the part of making an actual video to attract your viewers it's like an ad like you see a billboard or you see an ad on TV you wanna you, you wanna know what it's like but they have like a terrible product but the but the captions or the pictures are like amazing on billboards or websites you're like, I, want, I wonder what this is, so I click on it. So that's pretty much what a thumbnail is on YouTube. It's pretty much your ad, your advertisement to, you know, show off your video. So it's very good to have a good thumbnail for your videos, guys. And of course, guys, last but definitely not least, out of the whole thing I showed you guys, is how to make the actual video come to life. So this is called Movie Studio Platinum 13. It was about 70 bucks on Dell. You can get it on Sony. You can get it on uh, Sony Vegas, whatever you want. But this was the cheapest one that I found. It was originally thirty hundred thirty dollars, but it was like an eighty dollar discount for that day. So I was lucky and got this for about seventy bucks, eighty bucks short. So first of all, we're just gonna go into project, open up a file. I already recorded the files I'm using for this video, so we're gonna add the first one. 
put that in here. And the cool thing about this actual software besides Movie Maker, Movie Maker is terrible guys, I hated using that. But whenever it builds it, you can you know you can stretch it to see more detail. You can make it shorter to make you know more space for your other videos. It's very, very fun, very easy to use. So if you guys want to have a software that's very good to make videos, I definitely recommend making this your next purchase or whatever you guys want to get because it's very easy to use. And it has your video tabs. You see what you're trying to make, you can move it across, move it across the the panel. You can also edit your volume. You can make it louder, you make it quieter, whatever you guys want. Like I said guys, it's so so easy. And you can also trim it too, you can trim it very easily. All you gotta do is drag the corners, makes it that much better. So we're gonna delete that so we don't mess anything up. Delete that, add that back. We got that. The first part of the video, I'm gonna put my headphones in really quick so I can hear. All right, what's going on, guys? It is Proud of D today, and today is a different type of video. All right, what's going on, guys? So right there at the beginning, I messed up. So I'm just gonna cut it at the next part. I say, yo, yeah, what's up, guys? All right. Get right to the beginning. All right, what's going on, guys? It's all right. Alright, so we got that. And once you get to the spot you want to cut it at, all you got to go to is the bottom and click on split. And that splits the whole clip. And so now you can cut the excess and bring that back. So here, let's hear it for the actual revised version. Alright, what's going on guys? It's Proud of Z today and today is a different type so of that's video. That's a lot today, better. A lot of you guys ask me, you know, oh, Proud of Z, what, what setup do you use? What do you use to make your videos? You're going to make what, this a bit you know, What's your capture card and stuff like that. So today... I decided to make you know a s how I make my videos. I'm not gonna go through the whole video for you guys. Just a little couple parts of it, just so you guys get a feel of how I make my own videos. What you guys can do different to yours. So there, I add my intro. Let's go back and watch it all. You know, we're gonna add music actually. So we're gonna go to project. We're going to add media. We're gonna go down to music. And we're going to find just the basic song. I'm not going to use the actual song for the actual video. So, we're going to use Wayson's Daydream. We're going to drag this down here. So, we're going to bring the music part down from the intro. We're going to drag it over here. And now we're going to silence. We're going to insert our audio track. And we're going to drag the music part all the way down here so we can mute it. Pretty much all you're going to do for that. Is just turn all the volume down so there's no music playing, just the music of the actual beat. So we're gonna turn the music down a little bit. Hear how it goes. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Proud of Z today, and today is a different type of video. Today, a lot of you guys ask me, you know, oh, Proud of Z, what what setup do you use? What do you use to make your videos? What you know? What's your capture card and stuff like that? So today, I decided to make you know a s how I make my videos. And so today I decided to just make a video on how I make my own videos. So so today I just figured I'd make a video on how I make my own videos. So I might have to redo that intro because it's kind of boring. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is, just show you guys the basics. So today I just figured I'd, I'd make a video it. on how I make my own videos. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. And the music plays for the intro, so that's pretty much what you're gonna do. So we got that. And now we'll just add the rest of the clips I recorded previous to the, making this actual clip. All right, so now we got some of the clips already in the in the file. So what we're gonna do to save it? This is the mock video, guys. We're just gonna go all the way down to make movie. Gonna go save it to my hard drive. Click on MP4, Advanced Options, and we're gonna make it 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna click on this 1920 by 1080. There we go. Render. And so now it's rendering, guys. So that's pretty much how I make my videos. It's very, very simple, guys. Like once you figure it out, it's very easy to do. So it's very easy for you guys to do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks you guys so much for watching again. I'll be in live stream later on today. I'll put that down in the description below. Hopefully this video helped you guys on how to make videos, what software to get, what software to buy. 
and you know how to make your videos better with some of my equipment I'll put that all down in the description like I said guys all my equipment all the software that I use so hopefully it helps you guys out so thanks for watching the video guys I do appreciate it see you guys later peace out guys